Hi folks, Ben here from Lancasters. Today I'm going to talk you through the top three reasons why some properties don't sell. Now, you've all seen it. Some houses come to the market and are snapped up overnight. Other ones that look near identical in size, location and price sit on the market for weeks or months on end. And sat at home, you can't really see the difference between it, but there's a result with one and not a result with the other. And you're always wondering why. So I'm going to talk you through the top three reasons why that why that happens. Okay. Number one, launch strategy. Now, this is something we are really big on here. We've got a proven three-step process that we use here, but I won't. This won't be a Lancaster-centric video. I'll just talk in general terms, so it's beneficial to everybody. Okay. Now, I think what some homeowners think is that estate agents just take pictures of houses put them online and wait for the phone to ring okay now the problem is there are still some agents out there that do that that used to be the way maybe 10 15 years ago but but the world's moved on and you've got to keep pace with it now you know a really good agent any really good agent treats each property like it its own little individual marketing campaign they sit down day one sometimes with the vendor and you go through and you assess who your target market is. What kind of buyer are we searching for here? We're not looking for some scattergun approach to marketing because so much of that is just wasted effort. What we want to do is really home in on who is your ideal buyer, who is going to buy this property in a good time at a good price and, and work with you on all the things that are important to that vendor. Who are they? Where are they? And how do we target them? Okay, now that is a really important first step to make sure that your subsequent steps of marketing aren't at all misguided. Okay, the other thing, which is a real pet peeve of mine, it drives me absolutely crazy and there's no need for it, and it's just, in my opinion, a sign of really bad agency, but is, is when properties are launched incomplete. Um, the first 36 to 48 hours of a property being made live is that is when it receives its most number of views. There's a massive surge. Any of you who are currently on the market at the moment, ask your current agent for your right move data from the day you launched, and you'll see that it was a huge surge in the first 48 hours of people who see, saw your property. Probably eight or 10 times more people saw it in the first 48 hours than see it in the next fortnight. So with all those eyeballs, knowing all those eyeballs are gonna see it for that very short period of time, you've gotta make sure that your marketing is absolutely on point so that is professional photographs because people buy with their eyes it is detailed floor plans room measurements 360 virtual tours which are just essential now they're just standard um, every, everybody has or sh certainly should have those all of that needs to be there th the second it goes live there is no point having that stuff drip feeding to the market later on because all those people have seen it discounted it and moved on and you've lost it Okay, so it's really super important to, to have that. So launch strategy, target who you want to, um, identify who you want to target, target them with all the information that they need day one. Don't rush it, don't just put the property on the market incomplete today and hope the rest of the stuff will drop in in the end of the week, Do doesn't work. All right. Number two, buyer cultivation. And that's a very, long phrase for basically follow-up it's really easy in this game to end up with a database of 10 12 15 20 thousand potential buyers on your books that you can turn up to an appraisal meeting and tell the vendor that oh yes mr or mrs vendor i have 400 people registered for a property just like yours it's meaningless if you've not cultivated those buyers correctly, spoken to them regularly, looked after them and really understand what they want. I would always rather keep a lean database of people that I've spoken to in the last seven days who I know are still looking and exactly what they are looking for. You are better off having 2,000 active, keen and motivated purchasers on your books than 12,000 people who 11,000 of them actually bought three months ago but you just don't know it yet. Okay, now the, the other end of that is once you know who you've got who are actively looking, it's how you look after them throughout the process. So 
there's no point us taking somebody around your house and them saying they absolutely love it and they want to buy it when they sell and us not knowing what they're selling and then keeping regular contact with them so that we can help them sell theirs which will then help sell yours it's joined up thinking but believe me it's it's surprising how often that gets forgotten in this game they just you know, estate agents can fall foul of just doing the next thing on their to-do list without really thinking about the bigger picture so buy a cultivation in as far as active people and making sure that they are continually serviced afterwards to keep them keep them buying is um is super important okay and then number three surprise surprise is price now it's not top of the list but it is important and i'm not going to say it's about being cheap it's certainly not it's about being priced correctly now it's a bit of an obvious one i know but there are two things you need to understand about pricing the first one is that people buy with their heart not with their head okay get get your head around that the head will get your property shortlisted it is in the right area it's in the right price bracket it's got the right number of bedrooms it's got the off-road parking whatever it is that you need the tick 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 boxes right that will get your property shortlisted but you know what so is a dozen other houses out there okay and you ain't gonna buy all of them so once your head has shortlisted it you will then come and view the property and from that point on it's your heart that buys it's an emotive decision to actually purchase to actually go that's the one I want to make my home okay so that's that's an emotional thing now second thing to understand is that properties are allocated online most searches now 87% of all searches start online properties are allocated in price brackets price bands okay so if you price your property slightly too high and drop into a band above you know these bands depending on what price bracket you are look on look on a right move app look on a Zoopla app you'll see what the price bands are they tend to move up in in sort of 10 20 25 or 50 thousand pound increments depending on what price level you're at what tier you're at if you price your property slightly too high and you drop into the bracket above what will happen is that you will be in a sea of properties who are genuinely worth more and are bigger, shinier, or in nicer locations. The people looking in that bracket, remember it's an emotional thing, yes, you might be shortlisted, but then on an emotional level, the ones which are bigger and shinier and sexier, they're the ones that get bought, okay? Yes, they might have been able to buy yours for less, but that's kind of not the point. They don't, they're not, the decision is not a head decision. They're not negotiating with you in their head when they're deciding where they want to live. That's something they do at the end as a means to an end once they've decided which house they want. So that is why it is super important to get the pricing right to make sure just so that you're in front of the right eyeballs who are going to fall in love with your property. That's the only thing price does. Price gets you in front of the right sets of people who are then going to love your house and buy it. Okay, that's that's all it does. All right, so there you go. They're the top three reasons why you'll see some properties lingering on the market while other ones absolutely fly. It's a strategy. All right, take care.